President Obama ran for the highest office in the land, he pretty much told people what he was going to do, too. And he pretty much did everything he said he was going to do. Nobody believed or nobody took him at his word. So as we look at Bernie Sanders or uh, some of these socialist candidates that have risen up in different primary elections so far, we should take them at their word, shouldn't we? What they say they want to do is, is what they're going to try to do with all their might. That is exactly right. Take it seriously. When they tell you they're going to destroy you, your way of life, your society as you know it, take them seriously. And <clears throat> that's why the Southern Poverty Law Center is, is so important to this effort is because they are one of the strongest and most active arms of implementation of this Marxist strategy. It, it, meaning that well, their designation of hate is affecting all the institutions that the communists and socialists want to deconstruct, right? The church, the family, uh, anything on the leftist agenda. Essentially, if you oppose anything on the hard left's political social agenda, you're going to make the hate map of the Southern Poverty Law, Law, Law Center for that reason alone. Well, and, and picking up on that point, one of the things in the naked communists that they said they were going to do is they were going to infiltrate the church and they were going to turn revealed religion to social religion. Now think about that. How many churches in America today, never Christian churches, never, never speak about the gospel? But it's a nice social place. You can go and feel good and visit your neighbors on Sunday. And there's a lot of that in America. A whole lot more than I think most people realize. And that was part of their plan, you know. And, and the other thing, though, that they actually said they were going to do, and this is critical to them achieving their objectives, they were going to infiltrate the, the school systems and inculcate uh, socialism into the curriculum. So we got people, millennials, that have grown up thinking socialism is acceptable. And the other thing, though, is they were going to unionize teachers. And then they would control the union, thereby controlling the teachers. All that's happened. All that's happened. When you talk to the millennials, if you explain to them what communism and socialism really is in terms of how it would affect their lives, they tend to shift their opinion quite a bit. If you explain to them they get no Google, no Facebook, no Twitter, no Amazon, no Apple, none of that stuff comes up because there's no capital formation in socialism, that it would be differently. And quite frankly, if you, I've seen some research that says if you just change the terminology, you don't talk about capitalism, you talk about free enterprise, they tend to swing that way. It sounds Freedom sounds better. So there's an opportunity there, but if we don't seize the opportunity, what's going to happen? What's gonna, socialism's really going to have its day, isn't it? Yeah, we're, we're going to become uh, a Marxist communist nation. And, you know, you, become, you really become a communist nation when you declare we're atheist. We're officially that's atheist, right. and that's when this economic pathway to Marxism is socialism. Yeah. And then Marxism becomes, you know, communism when you declare atheism. So that is going to happen in America if we don't reverse what's happening right now. And part of the problem is my generation slept through about 40 years. My gener I'm 70 years old. We slept through 40 years. And and paid no attention to what was happening in the colleges and the universities. And they've become so infiltrated by people that are hardcore leftists. That doesn't mean there aren't some conservatives on faculties, but they go underground because they are under, they're, they're, they're battered uh, because of their conservative views. That's why, what do you expect to come out of college? What do you expect to come out of college when all they get in four years there is a leftist Marxist view of America, of America's history? They're not proud to be Americans. And when you lose your pride in America and you lose your way in terms of where you came from and where you're going, you know, the old proverb says, if you dwell in the past, you lose an eye. If you forget the past, you lose both eyes. Boy, that's true right now.